so uh, countries like the states and in, in, in UK, Canada, uh, pretty much Western Westernized col uh, cultures are high context, which means they value direct communication, right? Um, it's about individual liberties. It's about what I want and I want to communicate to you and I'm going to do it the quickest and the most efficient way possible so that you do not have to work so much to try to understand me. Whereas mm -hmm. low context cultures, which are more common, I'm not sure about Europe, but in Asia, most of them are low context, is actually the complete opposite. So it is not about direct. It's about being subtle. It's about using more body language and it's about social harmony and social cohesion. So I don't want to be honest to you if it's going to hurt your feelings. So I'm going to find another way to say it so that you have to guess what I'm trying to say, right? And now when I'm dealing with a lot of my clients and I'm asking them questions about their growth, about their uh, abilities, I find they are not wanting to be truthful with me because they're afraid of upsetting me, right? So if oh. finding that balance between, well, okay, how do we, how do we, how do we get to the foundational truth of what it is we're working together on without you offending me and without me offending you by, by being too direct. And if that is able to, if that tension exists just in my classes, you got to wonder how much is that, what does that mean for in general people communicating across cultures? How much is being misunderstood or being miscommunicated in that process? And for me, that's fascinating.